Welcome in here. You know, the city of El Paso is one step closer now to naming a new city manager, but not everyone is happy about how that hiring process played out. Thanks for joining us here. I'm Liz Dewicki. And I'm Robert Olguin. Mayor Oscar Leeser announced the four finalists today. Take a listen. I'm very excited. Uh, I think the city council did a great job, and I really believe they nailed it. Well, despite that high praise, not everyone on City Council is pleased with today's announcement. We have team coverage. Jacqueline Quinones will show us who those four finalists are. But first, KFOX 14 News at 9's Ariana Parra joining us live from downtown El Paso with more on the concerns from a member of the City Council. Ariana. Well, during today's news conference, Mayor Oscar Lee Sir said that City Council handpicked the four finalists for that long open city manager position. But today I spoke with one city representative who tells me that's just not the case. We are city reps. We're the ones that are in charge of this process, and we found out through we're having a press conference. Josh Acevedo represents parts of Central and Northeast El Paso. And I'm like, wait, I don't have the names. He says before learning about today's news conference. So do I need to go to the press conference myself to understand who the names are? He had no idea which candidates were selected as the four finalists. That's how I found out what names had risen to the top. Despite Acevedo's claims of being left in the dark, Mayor Oscar Leeser tells us the council was given ample time to review qualifications for the 14 semifinalists, something Acevedo says he did. I read through every page. I watched every single video, some of them more than a few times. But Acevedo's frustrations lie amongst what appears to be a lack of communication in narrowing down the final four. I think that the, the big thing here is that I had to ask the HR director this morning and in conversations throughout last night, to get the rankings. Some El Pasoans I spoke to echoed Acevedo's frustrations. Being that close to the city government, I would expect to have prior notice. Yes, it kind of feels like if they don't even know about that, what else do they not know about what's going on? What else is happening in this community, in this city that we should know more about, that they should know more about and be working on? Council opted for a national search in the hiring process for the position that's been open since former city manager Tommy Gonzalez was ousted last year. Despite getting 80 applicants from across the country, each finalist currently works for the Sun City. Reporter Jacqueline Quinones gives us a look at the lineup. The candidates are Chief Financial Officer Robert Cortinas, Deputy City Manager Mario D'Agostino, Climate and Sustainability Officer Nicole Farini, and Deputy City Manager Dion Mack. According to El Paso Mayor Oscar Leeser, all the candidates have worked for the city for over a decade. Interim City Manager Kerry Weston emphasized the importance of having candidates who understand the city's operations, culture, and community. The finalists will meet with stakeholders and city advisory panel on August 7th. In the studio, Jacqueline Quinones, back to you. For Mayor Leeser's part, he argues the process was laid out and approved by council back in February. In a statement, he says in part, quote, It's regrettable that Rep. Acevedo feels uninformed about the process. However, the claim that council members were largely kept in the dark does not align with the factual distribution of detailed candidate assessments provided. But Acevedo disagrees. I mean, I think this is the definition of lack of transparency between staff, city council, letting us know this is what is going to happen. At, at the very least. And Acevedo adds that time is ticking for the council because if they do not pick a new city manager before the November election, it'll be up to the next council. For now, I'm reporting live in downtown El Paso, Ariana Parra, KFOX 14 News at 9. Ariana, Jacqueline, thank you. So two alternate finalists, meanwhile, with El Paso Roots were also selected. These candidates would be in the mix if the four finalists, let's say, don't pan out. So first off, former El Paso Fire Chief Samuel Pena, now serving as Fire Chief in Houston, and also Veronica Soto, previously the Director of Community Development for El Paso, now with the U.S. Department of the Treasury's Office of Recovery Programs. <laughs> 